A good night's sleep is underestimated by many, especially children. I'd like adults, children don't worry much about their sleep. The American Academy of Sleep Medicine states that each age group has different sleep needs. For example, children until 10 don't have to worry much because they have a fixed schedule and they're used to what they have to do every day. But preteens and teens, like me, have to worry a lot. We need about 8 to 10 hours of sleep and in a survey done recently, it was ch- children stated that they needed they did not get enough sleep than what they needed. The time we spent in school is fun and rewarding, but it's also the busiest years of our life. Balancing our school classes, ECAs, hobbies, and classes outside of school, it's hard for everyone. So making sleep a priority is important for everyone, especially children who want to get good grades. So what does sleep have to do with a good with good grades or a balanced life? Hello everyone. My name is Bai and I'm gonna tell you the importance of sleep in a student's life. So apparently, while we sleep, our brain grows through this process to collect information which we got throughout the day and keep it there so we can get it the next day. But lack of sleep disturbs that process and we won't our, our brain won't be able to process, store, or the next or in the next day when we need information, we won't be able to get it effectively. The next factor is emotional stability. When we get up from our sleep, we I hope everyone here, when you get a good night's sleep, you all get up and you feel good, you feel like you're gonna have a good day. But lack of sleep will also make us feel irritated and have mood swings. So I think that's why we should put it, it, we should have a good sleep routine. But the question arises, how? How do we create that sleep routine? There are three points. First, it's like brushing your teeth. I hope everyone here brushes your, their teeth the moment they get up and go to the bathroom. And if you don't, you get dental problems, oral problems, and smelly breath. It's like that with sleep. If you have a good night's sleep, you have a good, you have a good day. But... If you have inadequate sleep, there will be you won't see the effects it's going to give you for a short period of time. But as time goes on and on, the effects will become bigger and you can see it. The second is don't use your bed to eat or chat with your friends. Because if you get distracted by chatting with your friends and you spill some food on the bed, we all know what's going to happen. Ants come and we all hate that. And third is... Stick to your sleep routine. If it's 9.30, it's 9.30. I know, guys, Disney Plus and Netflix has good TV shows and movies, but still, we need a good night's sleep for the next day. So as students, let's discipline ourselves and have a good sleep routine. In spite of that, and you, it still doesn't work, well, wait for my second TED Ed Talk, where I have more research, more facts, and you, can re- and you have more stuff to rely on. So, the next time you see a teenager who's acting grumpy and having mood swings, don't blame it on them or their generation. Just ask them this one thing. Did you have a good night's sleep?